What's up guys, Adam Middles with here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna go over how to keep your social proof when you're, keep, when you're creating another ad. So obviously social proofs on ads, meaning social proofs meaning likes, comments, shares on all of your advertisements, right? Uh, and that's one of the best ways that you can get somebody to click on your ad, right? Because it's social proof on the ad that the ad is actually working and that other people like that same ad. People don't like to click on ads that have zero likes, zero comments, and zero shares. So when you get more social proof on your ads, the more important it is to keep the social proof on your ads, right? So if you're creating a another ad set to target a different audience, I'm gonna show you how to create um, or how to keep your social proof between ad sets or ads. Um, even if you're creating another objective, right? So say you're doing video views and you want to use um, conversions, right? How to keep your, um, your social proof or your likes, comments, shares on that ad when switching objectives, right? So we're in Facebook Ads Manager here, and this is a successful ad of one of our um, clients. He's actually in Canada. Um, and we've got a relevancy score of nine. You can see here CPM is 22, which isn't great, but they're in a pretty um, pretty competitive market. Uh, cost per click is under a dollar. Click through rate is two and a half percent, specifically 2.79 percent, which is decent. It's not great, um, but it's not um, you know it's not amazing. It's not bad. So um, this is a great ad if you look at the edit and actually go to the ad. This is an ad straight from my Facebook ad templates. If you want this exact ad, click on the link below. I'll give you six more ads alongside it. Uh, but this has great social proof, right? We've got 61 uh, likes or, or reactions. We've got 60 comments. We've got eight shares on it. So how do we go and take this ad, which isn't on his page or isn't on any, you know, any organic traffic? So how do we go and take this ad if we want to you know, go and target another audience, whether that's based on interest targeting, demographics, behaviors, or it's targeting a totally different area altogether. How do we keep this? Um, how do we keep this, right? So what we do here is we're going to click on the preview button here. We are going to look at the Facebook post with comments. So we go here, and then in the actual URL here, right, you've got two numbers. I believe the page post ID number is this number here. So we're gonna copy that, go back to our ads manager, and then I'm gonna open up another tab and go to ads manager all together here. Uh, and the reason I'm doing that is just, I wanna keep this open if I have to reference back to it. So we're gonna go here, go to the client account, now I'm gonna create another ad. This post was a conversions ad, right? So usually what you would do is you would do a traffic campaign, you would do an engagement, you would do video views. And then from there, you can go to conversions. A really cool strategy is using the engagement. Um, if you've got a landing page and you're sending people to a landing page, you can do engagement first so that you can get likes, comments, and shares on your um, on your ad and then what you can do is go to conversion so that's typically what happens another thing that you can do is do engagement and then go to messenger which is really cool so we can get likes comments and shares and then our conversion mechanism instead of a landing page would be Facebook Messenger and we can go through all of that the downside of keeping page post engagement with lead forms is you can't so we can't take an engagement ad and then run it as a lead generation campaign as of the as of this time this this recording me recording this video right um, so that's the only downside is we can't take them from an engagement ad to a lead generation ad that would be amazing if we could that would be a strategy that I would do 100% of the time if it was available um, so we're just going to just create another ad here um, and I'm gonna go to conversions and then I'm just gonna run through this and just go straight to the actual ad. Um, if you want more of an overview, if this is the first time on my channel, I've got more um, 
We've got more videos on exact run throughs, the targeting, how to do that. I'll link that in the description below, or you can click on uh, the card on one of these to go and view that. Um, I'm going to go and choose the actual business. <clears throat> And then from here, what we need to do is click on existing post. So we're going to use existing post here. Instead of creating an ad, we're going to use this existing post. And then we would select the post, right? What I like to do is just enter the page post ID. So if you've done this organically, um, if you post it on the page and you want to go and use a conversion objective, um, then you can actually go and select the post, click on select post. And then you'll see a post from your Facebook business page in there, and you can use that as your ad. It's essentially, it's kind of like boosting, it's like the best way to boost a post, right? If you're familiar with boosting a post, um, this is the best way to boost a post. Uh, but I'm just going to use the page post ID. So remember on the actual ad, I highlighted this number. That's the number that you need to copy, and then paste in here and click submit. And then it comes up with that ad, right? <clears throat> so magically it comes up with the ad. We can create a whole nother ad set. We can do all the, of the targeting that we want within that ad set to a different audience. Um, so say we're targeting first time home buyers with this ad and we have specific targeting to them, but we want to run a different ad to somebody in a different stage of life, right? So instead of 27 to 40, we want to target 35 to 50. Um, and that's still a good price range for them, right? So we can run it to a different audience, different interests, demographics, behaviors, uh, but we can keep the social proof among that ad so they know that this is a, su a successful ad and they're more likely to click, which drives down all of our lead costs, which is pretty cool, right? So that is how to create um, an ad and keep the social proof from a successful ad to a whole new ad to a new audience, right? If you have any questions on that, leave a comment below. I'd love to help you guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want more real estate and mortgage related marketing content, make sure that you subscribe to my channel by clicking the red subscribe button. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.